Where are you, Beth? Well, I guess it's delicious. We're going to show you that image, that lovely image in just a second. But we are at the gate, the entrance to Lindsey Nelson Stadium. We have been all over the stadium. Todd and I tried to participate in the player warm-ups. They kind of kicked us off the field, but that, that's okay. Uh, you can see fans are lining up. Online tickets sold out. The university did reserve and hold back just a few tickets. Those will go quickly. They go on sale starting at 5 o'clock tonight. That's why all these fans are in position waiting. Uh, many have tickets, but others hoping to score a ticket to the game. I want to bring in David Sheely because I want to get his reaction when he turns his head and sees that lovely pig on the big smoker there. Just need a little bit of barbecue on that. <laughs> just a little bit of barbecue and it's mine. It's yours. It's mine. Yeah, just plain. Okay. I would, yeah. Because, <laughs> see, my grandma says my stomach is a bottomless pit. Uh huh. And so, if she had made something like that, she would expect me to just eat it and everybody else would get something else. Well, nobody's stopping us, so we might have to no. sample, be a little quality control here at the game on behalf of Tennessee baseball. We saw the Razorbacks pull in right at the top of four. Let's talk about this matchup. It is a tough one. Number one team in the country coming to Rocky Top for a three game series. Yeah, this is the best team in the country for a reason. They are so good at so many things. It's hard to really find a weakness on this team. They can pitch, they can hit, and even when they're not hitting, they draw a lot of walks, the second most walks in the SEC. So this team knows how to punish opposing teams, whether it's on the mound or in the batter's box. And how do you think they're going to match up tonight? It's a, it's a tough battle. It's a tough battle, and, and you talked about a little bit earlier. Tony Vitello knows the coach for Arkansas, and he knows Tony Vitello. So we're talking about strategies, and they know each other, and so it's kind of like that master versus student, where it's like, well, I taught you everything you know, and he's like, well, I developed a little bit more. So it, I'm looking forward to see how they're, they're cerebral against each other. And then you just look at the, the way these two teams love to hit. I talked about drawing walks. Well, Tennessee has three more walks than Arkansas, and also they can hit the long ball too. So we're going to see some home runs, some walks, and everything else. Just It's just going to be so exciting this weekend. An exciting game for sure. The atmosphere fear is already peaking for sure. A lot of events leading up. I know you're going to be front and center capturing Peyton Manning as he tosses out that ceremonial first pitch. And then news today uh, from the NCAA about Lindsey Nelson being p possibly one of the stadiums to host the uh, seasons and the, the regionals, excuse me, and the super regionals in baseball. Yeah, this game means something. And honestly, I think Tennessee fans have been waiting for a game to mean something on this campus for a long time. Yeah. There's so much pent up energy between Vol Nation right now, and they just can't wait to let it out. So 100% capacity, they're going to be yelling it out. The guy who delivers my packages is here, the UPS guy. I don't know where he went. I'm serious. That's how many Vol fans are out here. When I say everybody, everybody. He delivered a package to me yesterday, and now he's here at this baseball game. I just, I can't wait to see the crowd. I can't wait to hear the crowd. And I, I have no idea what it's going to feel like on that field, but I'm sure the electricity, you just, you can't miss it. Now I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it. And these players, this program, they have earned it. They are putting Rocky Top on the map once again with with Tennessee baseball. It's an exciting evening and guess what? If you can't make it here, we've got you covered. We're going to be live throughout our 6 p.m. newscast.